Today's society is suffering from a rapid decay due to the never-ending war on drugs. Politicians make dramatic speeches advocating tougher drug laws, which are both inconsistent and oppressive. We believe that drugs legalization has to be heavily considered because it factually benefits society. So, our legacy today is that it is more efficient to control drugs and the effect it has on society as a whole by allowing them rather than by having an oppressive stance over them. Legalization for us means accepting that using drugs is part of the society, so rather than a criminal justice issue, it is a social issue. We believe that by including this social issue under legality and tackling it through this perspective, the effects of its existence will be more beneficial for society as a whole. So why do we support the legalization of drugs? First of all, legalization would dramatically drop drugs prices. On the contrary, as prohibition leads to high costs of production and intermediators like mafias. By their legalization, these problematics would be reduced. Mafias, for instance, would actually be likely to disappear, and part of the money generated in this business would go to the government in the form of taxes. Second, massively reduce crime. Due to the high costs of purchasing drugs we mentioned before, its users have to resort to violence and theft. As legalization would lower down the prices, consequently, it would reduce violence and robberies. For instance, it is proved that smokers of tobacco do not need to steal or use any violence whatsoever in order to buy a pack of cigarettes. Third, legalization is surely going to lead to regulations, which implies quality and quantity controls. Mortality levels due to the uncontrolled abuse of drugs, overdose and poisoning would be reduced. On the contrary, as under prohibition there aren't these types of controls, mortality levels have always been very high. In fact, according to a study conducted by the Cato Institute by James Ostrowski, 80% of deaths is linked with the lack of access to doses standardized. Another reason would be the elimination of the criminal marketplace. The legalization of drugs forces criminal organizations to withdraw from the black market, which is worth billions of euros, and allows the governmental institutions to keep certain standards and regulation of this business, which therefore is included in the market. In fifth place, legalization would reduce the illnesses related to the consumption of drugs. Prohibition of drugs leads to the stigmatization and marginalization of drug users, so countries that operate ultra-prohibitionist policies have very high rates of HIV infection among injecting users. For instance, hepatitis C rates are increasing substantially among users in the UK. By legalizing drugs, drug users wouldn't be marginalized. They would be considered a social legal issue responsibility of the government and harm reduction policies would be implemented effectual illnesses would be reduced. Besides, it restores people's rights and responsibilities. Prohibition unnecessarily criminalizes millions of law-abiding people. It removes the responsibility for distribution of drugs from, from policy makers and hands it over to unregulated, sometimes violent dealers. On the contrary, legalization restores our right to use drugs responsibly, to change the way we think and feel. It enables controls and regulations to be put in place uh, to protect the vulnerable. Moreover, prohibition of drugs has also an impact on black people. We must take into account the black drug offenders over representation in prison. They are 10 times more likely to be imprisoned for drug offenses than whites. So that means that easily targeting a particular ethnic group is being allowed. Through legalization, the great amount of set of laws that is used to bring black people to the criminal justice system disproportionately would be removed. Last but not least, prohibition has global impl implications. The illegal drugs market makes up 8% of all world trade, around 300 billion pounds a year. Whole countries are run under the corrupting influence of drug cartels. Prohibition also enables developed countries to build vast political power over producer nations. Legalization would return lost revenue to the legitimate tax economy and would remove some of the high-level corruption, also the political interference by foreign countries against producer nations. So as we have seen, the legalization of drugs would be so beneficial for both states and individuals. 
it would reduce crime, the illnesses related to the consumption of drugs and its prices, while it would lead to new regulations, quality and quantity controls, and part of the money would directly go to the state in form of taxes.